Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 166th episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. Alright, to start off I just want to say that a lot has happened this week so I'm just going to briefly summarize and I'll have links to everything discussed in today's episode down below in the more info so you can check it out there and get some more details on it. So first of all, I want to discuss the new Retina Display iPad Mini 2, or the second generation iPad Mini. So the other night on November 11th, following numerous rumors that are propagated around the blogosphere regarding an early iPad Mini 2 launch, Apple's virtual or online store had been taken offline. That suggested the newest Retina iPad Mini would be released on November 12th, which actually ended up happening. And on November 12th, I was able to get my hands on a 64 gigabyte Retina iPad Mini. So if you guys want to see my unboxing video of it, just be sure to check it out. Also in that video, I detail my brand new iPad Mini 2 giveaway. So if you want a chance to possibly win one of the new tablets, just be sure to check it out. Again, all the details you need to enter will be in that video. And more recently, on Thursday, November 14th, Apple issued an iOS 7 update to the public in the form of 7.0.4 to correct a number of issues that were still present in iOS 7. So the new 7.0.4 update is now available via iOS's simple and convenient over-the-air update method, and it can also be found through iTunes. Surprisingly, it seems as though 7.0.4 only offers minor enhancements and modifications, the most notable being a solution for failed FaceTime calls. And as far as jailbreaking is concerned, I have a detailed video on 7.0.4 and how it will affect jailbreak development of the Evader's new and upcoming iOS 7 untethered utility. So just be sure to check that out if you want more details. But just to give you guys a brief rundown, renowned iOS hacker I Hate Snow tweeted that the update does not bring any security fixes to iOS meaning that the Evader's utility will include support for iOS 7.0.4 and it will be able to jailbreak 7.0.4. Now following I Hate Snow's tweet, MuscleNerd sent out another tweet to his followers and in his tweet he basically challenged users to stay away from 7.0.4 because although it doesn't correct any of the vulnerabilities the team has discovered, it will test users' ability to refrain from updating when the day comes that Apple does issue an iOS 7 firmware update that corrects the Evader's utility. So if you've already updated, don't worry, you will be fine as far as a jailbreak is concerned, and you can update too if you want the bug fixes that 7.0.4 brings to the table. Again though, I have a more detailed video on the topic that I'll have a link to below, and I also created another video prior to the release of 7.0.4 that went more into depth specifically on the latest pertaining to the jailbreak, and also what we'll be able to expect hopefully very soon. And in addition, if you guys want even more coverage on jailbreaking in written form, I will have a link to a very interesting article on jailbreak iOS evasion below. Moving on, last night I received my own PlayStation 4 in the mail and I did an unboxing of the new device. So if you guys want to see Sony's brand new PlayStation 4 unbox, just be sure to check out that video because I also give you guys my PlayStation Network ID if you're interested. And finally, to conclude this week's episode, I just wanted to talk about Free App Life for a second. Now as most of you know, Free App Life is a collaborative effort between myself, Marcus from Webland Installer, and Adrian from Jailbreak Nation and iPod Uplink. And we've been working very hard on the service. Essentially, it's a sponsored app and redemption service to allow users to download sponsored applications, earn points, and then redeem those points for various gift cards, prizes, including paid application codes for free for Apple's App Store. So if you have yet to sign up for free Apple, just be sure to do so. I'll have a detailed video guide for the service below. Also keep in mind that we are working very hard on it around the clock and we're adding new features all of the time and we're also fixing various bugs that we encounter. So just be sure to sign up. After all, it is free. As far as my recent $100 Amazon gift card giveaway is concerned, I have randomly selected a winner and they've been contacted. Now, if you want a chance to enter another $100 Amazon gift card in this video, just be sure to rate it up and hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release new videos and also leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. If you don't know what to leave in the comment section, try answering the question of the day. What do you guys think about Sony's PlayStation 4 if you already have one? Are you going to get one or are you going to get an Xbox One? If so, why? Just basically anything on either of the two consoles you can leave below. And of course, if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I post new videos and jailbreak updates, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and I'm one of your circles inside of Google+. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.